going live here, going live here, we're going live everywhere. I hope the beginning, oh, the beginning is totally going to cut off with something there. Hello, all of you professional gamers out there in the world. I am Mega Amster, and welcome to a brand new game that I'm streaming. Um, also, just brand new game in general. I mean, if you couldn't tell by the title of the video or the, the game that's literally right there. Finally, after being announced, announced what, three and a half months ago? Metroid Dread has been released. It's actually been out for a few days now. Um, I just got my physical copy yesterday at Walmart. And I mean, if you haven't seen my reaction, like I I was very, very excited for this game and I'm so excited to play it. I got some special stuff in the store. Um, but before before I get into anything, I just wanted to um point out some stuff I got to I went with some friends to a comic book comic book shop, uh what was that, Saturday? And uh got our boy chef kawasaki over here he's uh he's hanging on to that copy of dread so nobody else steals it thank you thank you chef kawasaki i appreciate it um i also got i finally got another poster nope that way um right up there that's that's for Mega Man x for the uh specifically the legacy collection it's based off of but really like Mega Man x i like x more than classic but that's a discussion for another day i'll probably stream a Mega Man x game at some point to be honest if i stream any game it's probably just going to be the first one because it's pretty short easy and the one I'm most familiar with, and probably my favorite out of all of them. Just, it's a classic. Um, but anyways, I wanted to show that stuff off because you may notice, you know, usually I have like that lava lamp and some of the other lights in the background running. Not this time. Not this time. I am about to shut off this lamp and we are going to go full on dark mode. I am completely immersing myself into this game. I have heard the best way to experience this game. I was planning on doing this since it was even announced at E3 this year. Um... I've heard the best way to experience this is lights off. Sloshical, what's up? How's it going? I've heard the best way to experience this, lights off, headphones in, and just focus and ready to go. I am ready to get freaked out. Um, so with that, we're turning off the lamp here. Give me a sec. Got to reach around here. Jeez. There we go. This is actually terrifying. I was like, you can't even see the background. I was actually testing this out earlier, and it looks terrifying. Also, new stream HUD. Yeah, so I changed it up a little bit. Um, Kind of to match uh, Samus's uh, color scheme with her new suit, and uh, yeah, just change some color things here and there. You can see the uh, the reaction one as well. Woo! That's kind of like Inception. That's what the back end looks like. There you go. Hello, everybody. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, let's get into this. I am ready. I am fully immersed. I, I mean, I've heard from what I've heard is that um, at least with this game, like I should be expecting to die a lot. So. We'll see. Supposedly it's difficult. I have not even tested turning this game on yet, so you are going to get my first, uttermost first reactions right here, right now. Let's do it. It's time for Metroid Dread. Here we go. Game of the year right here. Oh, you can't even see me. Oh, this is going to be terrifying. Okay. See, like, I consider turning the ring light on, but, like, no. <laughs> i'll see okay if it's actually like way too dark then like i will do something any audio video issues please let me know ahead of time you can see me right you can still see me in the in the oh yeah you can totally see me this is gonna be crazy oh here we go right off the bat i love this remix of like the nes title theme like this is so good you died 20 times oh so you got the game over how are you liking the game so far no spoiler slash goal at all um but I have heard really good things. And yeah, I've, I've also heard that people just tend to die a lot. So I'm not great at Metroid. I'm not bad. I've played all the other 2D games. Yeah, all the other, unless you count Prime Pinball. I've played all the other 2D games. Um, you're not even halfway through. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how this goes. Okay. See, like I said, I, I haven't even turned this game on. Um, I got to adjust the brightness until the image on the left is barely visible. You know, these things, these things have like never really like... Um, they've kind of confused me, because, like, I feel like this is, like, the brightness is barely visible, but, like, I, it's, it feels a little dark, you know what I mean? Like, I want to, like, hmm, I might just leave it in the middle, honestly. Let's do that. I'll compromise and do that. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Right off the bat. I don't know what's in... I know, like, most of the footage they've shown. Okay, I should shut up. Metroid, a virulent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo. We're getting all this... We're getting all the, the, the lords up at the very beginning. 
It's interesting, very atmospheric, and love the lore. Also, some stressful moments. So, logical, remind me, is this the first 2D Metroid you've played? Have you played any other Metroid games? Um, yeah, because the super heavy lore, from what I've heard, they try to explain a lot of it at the beginning of this game, which is good to catch up people, you know? But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for those stressful moments. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo, right? And named after the word for... Um... Oh, really? Metroid means ultimate warrior in the Chozo language? I did not know that. Okay. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated, and they are now extinct. Extinct. I guarantee you, they're going to show up some. I know they are. And we got the X-Parasites, of course. A gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388, which... I'm pretty sure Samus destroyed SR388. This is your first Metroid ever. Wow, okay. I mean, it's, it's awesome that you're you're liking it. Um, Metroid is pretty lore-heavy. Well, honestly, it's it's not as lore-heavy as Zelda, for sure. But, like, there's there's a, there's a good amount of background lore behind it. Um, but it's great. I mean, if you can get into it and still enjoy what you're doing without playing the previous games, like, that's awesome. All right. It could absorb the DNA of its host, right? Living or dead and replicate its form when infecting a living host. It could even access the host's memories. Really? I don't remember that. Okay. Ex-parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an ins instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marks them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Right, and so... The reason why in Fusion... I guess just to give a little bit of background here, in Fusion, the ex-parasites are like the main enemies you fight against. And that's because... You pretty much wipe out all the Metroids in Metroid 2. And then there's like... I, I won't go too much into it, but like... That's why the ex-parasites exist, uh, because the Metroids are the predators to their species. And they're believed to be extinct. Believed. Supposedly, okay, yeah, these are from Fusion. Samus supposedly wiped them all out in Fusion, yep. And she got infected. So that's what this is. I haven't, this, like, this is the first 2D game I've played in a few years. The, actually, the last 2D game I played was actually in, um... I think it was actually the original NES on Virtual Console a few years ago. Um, would not recommend playing that game, by the way. If you're going to play Metroid 1, play Zero Mission, which is like a re remake or honestly reimagining of the original, that is a very good game. Um, with no Metroid surviving on SR388, it became infested with the X. Horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Right. Unaware of this. Yeah, you said... Oh, this is Samus narrating. Hello, Samus. Got infected on almost side. Glad you're back, Samus. Good to see you back again. Right. And then the fusion suit was born. I love how we get to see this all in HD. This is so cool. Because normally, I mean, fusion was on the Game Boy Advance. It was a pixel art game. This is the, it's been 20 years. We're seeing this in HD. This is so cool. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA. Hashtag get vaccinated if you can. Which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. Right. Oh, right. Because she was... And she had, yeah, Metroid DNA in her, right? And then, okay, that that's but that, that's why the X wasn't able to uh, X parasite wasn't able to corrupt her before. This ability was tested immediately when I went to a biological space laboratory research station to investigate a distress signal. Yep. So this is really just a lot of mo most of this is fusion. Oh god, the SAX is terrifying in HD. Yep. Okay, so she did. She did. Right. She did destroy SR three D. That's what I was wondering. You battled many powerful X-Forms, including the SAX, which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. Eventually eliminated the X-Menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. I haven't played these games in years, so like this is all just new to me. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories. Or, so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. Yeah, so the ex-parasites are straight up alive. Or, it showed an ex alive in the wild. Part of me wonders if it's fabricated. That's just based on theory, but like we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Thorough analysis proved... I don't want to predict too much with this game. I kind of want to just experience it as I go and see what the story actually has to tell. I've heard good things about the story, so we'll see. Thorough analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. Planet ZDR, I think it is. Oh, this is so cool looking. This looks great. I imagine on the OLED screen, this looks beautiful. 
It was called, yeah, okay, ZDR. If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven Emmy to investigate. Yeah, so now we're getting our introduction to the Emmy robots, okay. Excelion Star Corporation, what is that? That's new, right? I don't think that's... There really hasn't been much, like, outside, like, human work except for the Federation, so that's gotta be something new. Excelion Star Corporation. Is that, like, the company that manufactured these robots or something? An Emmy is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract the DNA. Okay, so that's what those needle things coming out of their heads are. Okay. Their incredible mobility and protective plating, made of the strongest stuff in the universe, practically guaranteed the mission's success. But, not long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. So they're super, super tough. You just you can't penetrate their armor. But they still they still couldn't complete the mission, clearly. What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out. Right, because anyone else who would go there would get infected. So supposedly, if there are X parasites on the planet, I I think I think it's full of shit. It's it's gotta be there's gotta be some kind of setup going on here. But we'll see. Kind of going back to the OLED situation, I actually wanted to bring this up because the OLED also came out, um, what, when, on Friday when this game came out as well. And, like, I'm actually, so I decided I'm not getting the OLED, um, as much as, like, okay, I've, I've been playing a lot of Switch handheld lately, and, like, I enjoy it a lot, um, and, like, that 7-inch screen especially, like, not even just the OLED screen itself, I know the colors pop out a lot more, but just the 7-inch screen is a huge, it looks to be, like, a massive size increase. Even still, I feel like I still want to wait. Um, I kind of feel... Okay, I should shut up. I want to hear this. I'm, I'm going to wait on the OLED, essentially. Got 10 minutes? Is that what that countdown was? Or, oh, 10 seconds probably to land on the planet. You're loving your OLED? Oh, I love the bounty for this mission. Oh, so they gave her a bounty. Okay, they gave her a, some kind of bounty. The Federation did. So... Oh, uh, I love the voice they gave to the Adam AI. I love it so much. It's like literally terrifying. <laughs> lady. He calls her Lady. I love it. I don't know who the other AI is, though. We don't think we know. Some games still look crappy, though, like Hyrule Warriors and the Z. Really? Sloshical, the Xenoblade games don't look that good? I'm surprised. I feel like, especially like Xenoblade Chronicles 2 would look pretty good, but. I mean, that's the thing, though, because it's the same hardware. Yeah, it's still limited by that hardware. Um, Hyrule Warriors doesn't surprise me either, just because it's it runs pretty iffy on the Switch to begin with, and like because it's not new hardware. Okay. So we crash landed on this planet. Samus, oh, how does Samus get that armor though? She literally crash landed on the planet, and then all of a sudden she was in her normal power suit before, or maybe that was just the um. No, wait, I think the power suit is the base suit. So somehow she gets this armor on? Oh, no, here we go. Wait. What? Signal quality's low. Okay. Try okay, yeah. The facilities and networks. I like how he calls her lady. He must have... I don't remember how the Adam AI was actually created. I think they explained it in Fusion. But, like, I don't know if they, like, literally, like, uploaded his brain to the computer or something. I don't know how it works. Kind of like a, uh, a Zola from Marvel. Wow! Right off the bat, we're getting this guy. Okay. Literally right off the bat. I didn't realize this was, like, literally right at the beginning. They always look bad in handheld, so you're hoping it would look better with the OLED, but no. Yeah, so at least the... Um, okay, here we go. So, yeah, the, the screen is definitely better, like, in terms of the colors, right, like you mentioned, and the screen size seems like a massive improvement, but if the hardware's not any different, not any better, then really it's not gonna... It's overall, it might not make it look too, too much better, which is why I'm also waiting for, like, a hardware revision, like, a more powerful Switch. There were those 4K rumors still going on, and, like, there is some evidence coming up to believe that it could happen, and... I don't see why Nintendo wouldn't incorporate the OLED screen, the OLED screen going into future Switches, so that's kind of why I'm going to wait. Even if it's another five years, I'll wait. That's kind of my thought process, but... Yeah, I mean, at least the, the colors pop up. Oh, what the... 
What is he doing? Oh god, that is terrifying. <laughs> so the yeah, the Chozo warrior guy. What what was his beam? His beam did something. Okay, so that literally just happened, I'm guessing. And that's how okay, his inner power was stripped. Oh my god, I love the oh the background noises. It's so good. This is giving me chills. Is it gameplay time? I think it's gameplay time. Here we go. Ooh, look at this smooth 60. I don't know why, but like, I kind of expected this game to run at 30. I don't know why, but like, oh, this is smooth as heck. Holy crap. Okay. So I'm guessing, yeah, okay. So I played Samus Returns, but it's been, I mean, four years since it came out. Do I even dare to try to learn the controls? Hello, Samus. Power beam, we got missiles. Not even the morph ball, though, right? Mission log, encounter a mysterious enemy. Cool, okay. Any... No. It's probably gonna... I'm assuming I'm gonna learn the controls as I go on. Okay, what do we got? Right, why shoot? Do I need missiles here, maybe? Okay, X is the counter. How do I switch to missiles? Oh, okay. So let's see, left bumper is the... Yeah, the 360 aiming, the right bumper is missiles. Really? Why did I think that was going to be uh... Oh, okay. ZL slide. I don't think ZR does anything yet. Maybe that's going to be... No, Morph Ball would be down. Oh, this feels so smooth. I love this. Um, okay. I guess I can't go in that door. Maybe I probably need a charge shot or something. There we go. There we go. I'll get more missiles that way. I'm going to try a counter. Can I do a counter here? No? Okay. Maybe not against that enemy. The other thing is they introduced these, like, running counters, right? Because in Samus Returns, all you had was the static, like, upper arm counter like that. But now if you're running in counter, it'll do, like, a kick move like that. That's super cool. Right, so ZL to slide. That's new. Yep. Secrets. Ah! Where did you come from? Yeah, how do I take this door out? Where does that guy come from? Oh, I see. These enemies come from up here. I see. Okay. Can I latch on to that somehow? Oh. Oh, duh. Wall jumping. I, I kind of forgot wall jumping was a thing in these games. Alright, I will take those. Thank you. It's got to be some kind of grapple point or something. Is this... What is this? Save statue, maybe? Oh, ammo. Okay. I could go in there. That's a missile. Okay. I want to see what's under here, though. No? Do I really need the morph ball bomb to go... Oh, sorry. The morph ball to go in here? Okay. I guess that makes sense. Alright. Let me... There we go. Some destructible blocks are hidden. Are we talking like... Oh, okay. I don't know if it was a missile or not. Ah! Okay, so here's... Oh, that one opens. Interesting. Okay, so these doors are openable. It's just it wouldn't let me in the other ones, I guess. Let's get into that network. I want to talk to my boy, Adam. I honestly hope... I honestly hope that they sell the white Joy-Con separately because they look really clean. I'm not going to lie. Oh, that is terrifying. I love it. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. Vital signs and video log, okay. Analysis, but I vital signs are probably not looking great, to be honest. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes. In dramatic the physical changes. I mean, her, her suit's already looking, like, almost kind of similar to um, the fusion suit. But it's almost like, you can see, like, muscle tendons and stuff. It's almost like even more like integrated into her body it's weird you of most abilities. You might right physical amnesia. physical amnesia so that's this game's explanation for losing all your upgrades at the beginning of the game okay that's funny physical amnesia i love it there was something i mean with the chozo warrior he had that like his arm cannon that he had like that brings me it's, to it, i don't know i am checking the federation database against your video lock it appears to have the chozo but all the Chozo at this point are assumed to be dead. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths, the depths of ZDR. 
top yep. priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. Okay. So Adam's actually on our side this time? Okay. Shuttles, elevators, Not that he wasn't infused, but he was a little weird. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. Okay, so we're pretty much trying to escape up to the surface. Interesting. Is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Low temperature, Your okay. DNA renders you vulnerable. Uh, right. Because Metroids are vul vulnerable to, like, the ice beam and things like that. To you. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic policy. Yeah, I was going to say, did they... Was that a thing in Fusion? Because, I mean, in Fusion, she had the Metroid DNA within her, Unfinally, right? With that vaccine to ward off the effects of the X-Parasite. So I wonder... That, that must have been a thing in Fusion as well. network stations you find. Okay, underground appearance. Right, so yeah, so we're not going to be able to contact Adam on a regular basis. Let's go for it. That is hype. Okay, so let's see what we got in our map. That's a, This is a pretty good map. I like what I'm seeing. Um, okay, so we came from right over there. Arteria. Okay, that's where we are now. Ammo recharge station. Yeah, I'm guessing that's just where I got to go to the right now. I think my thumbstick might be drifting a little bit towards the left, but hopefully that won't be an issue. I I still I'm I, I probably should get a new uh oh rumble on of course. Um I probably should get a new set of Joy-Con to be honest. Or I I considered a pro controller, but I don't know. Alright. Ooh! Didn't see you there. Nope. Okay. It's almost like some of these doors can't be activated right away. You know? It's it's kinda weird. Unless I need, like, a charge beam for it, maybe. Maybe I need a charge beam. That could be it. Oh, hello. Hello, friend. Oh, I got a counter, right? Yeah, melee counter. Use your exit. Right. There we go. That's the counter. Yeah, so I've heard... I heard kind of at the beginning of the game, they seem... They're kind of a little... Um... They're a little le they're a little uh, less strict with the timing of the counter, but like, oh, come on, there we go. Um, the thing I remember it kind of being a little annoying in Samus Returns because the whole game was pretty much based around the counters. Oh, hello. Come on. I was gonna say like, how could you not see me there? Um, oh, you get more items from. Uh, that's cool. I couldn't remember if you got more items from the, the counters or not. But yeah, at least in this game, it seems like they're not going to, like, completely force the, uh... You to do the counters all the time. It's kind of like an extra option. Give Samus more, um, mobility. More options are always good for, in terms of, like, combat. Um, come on. Hit me! No, I don't think so. But Samus Returns, I actually really ended up liking. Um, definitely miles better than the original Metroid 2 on the Game Boy. I mean, they really... Oh, and the dash melee, right, so I'm running and then I do that. Okay, cool. Um, you know, they, they did a really good job of making that game, honestly. I keep mixing up which button, which button's the map button. Um, they really make it feel like a brand new game that way. Oh, can't even go there straight up. Okay. I keep mixing it up. No. Okay. There's a whole other area over there, it seems like. So what? Oh, what the? What? What did I just unlock? If an area on the map is blinking, it indicates that... Oh, without a hidden item. I'm pretty sure Samus returns to bed. Alejandro, how's it going? How you doing? Have you played uh, any Metroid Dread yet? I'm guessing you probably have. If you haven't, I mean, I don't know if I'd watch the stream, to be honest, because I'm going to be playing at least another hour and a half of it tonight. But if an area on the map is blinking, it indicates... Okay, yeah, Samus Returns had this, where... Yeah, the section of the map would blink if it had a hidden item. I'm pretty sure I remember that. So, there's something here. Alright, what we got? Missile upgrade? You'll love to see it. Only two? Really? Wow. That's that's a little little weak, not gonna lie. I haven't even explored over there yet, is the thing. I'm kinda like... Oh, what the heck? Wait, can I seriously not go over there now? Crap, okay. I think I just locked myself out of this now. Yeah, because I need the morph ball in order to get out of here. Okay, whatever. Well, I guess I don't have much of a choice. Let's go. Woo! Uh-oh. Oh, this is the first Emmy, isn't it? I, this is the exact moment they showed in the trailer. 
the very first trailer. This is it. Oh, yeah. They said there were seven Emmy, I think? Oh, no. <laughs> it's the boy. Let's get out of here. I mean, he's, for some reason, why is he so damaged, though? That's what I want to know. Is he, like, a prototype Emmy, or what was he damaged by? Could it have been one of the bosses? Could it have been the Chosa Warrior? But I would imagine... No. No! Yeah, an Emmy can be... Okay, kind of as well, it looks like. I've heard, like, the... Let's slide under. Let's get out of here. I've heard the, um... No, 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 no. The, uh... What am, what am I trying to say? I can't even think! This thing's running after me. I can't even think. The, um... The countering time on the Emmys is supposed to be pretty, pretty tough. We just got to the first boss. Okay, so you're a little ways in. Hopefully I won't... I mean, I know we talked about, like, um... No spoiling this in the chat for me. Hopefully I don't spoil anything for you. I mean, if you ever get to a point where, like, you don't want to, like, watch anymore, like, feel free to tune out, because, like, I don't blame you at all for that. I've tried to stay as spoiler-free as I can. I mean, then again, I've watched pretty much all the trailers, so I know of, like, one big spoiler, but... Okay, see, this is interesting, because those are... I think those are, like, computers, but they look... They're straight up Mother Brain. Like, it's pretty much Mother Brain. The energy from the central unit transferred the... Oh, into the Omega Cannon. Okay, this is the super powerful cannon. The central unit. Okay, it's pr pretty much Mother Brain. Omega Blaster Online. I, can I just stay in here and just, like, um, <laughs> avoid the Emmy? That'd be great, honestly. If I could just do that. Okay. Hold right bumper to charge. Is it gonna... Yeah, it's gonna make me do it here. Okay. So hold right to charge. And boom! Cool. Okay. Where are you? Emmy? Get over here. Where'd you go? Hello? Is it waiting for me? Oh, jeez. Wait. <laughs> Wait, it's literally in the door? Countering Emmys is incredibly difficult, yeah, it requires near perfect timing. What just happened there? Dude! <laughs> Wait, so I can't just go in the door, it's literally gonna get me? Maybe I gotta use the Omega Cannon on the door. No, or that was just stupid timing. Okay, that was just dumb timing. What? Okay, you saw that. Come on. You saw how dumb that was, right? I think I need to aim, yeah, aim at the core. Come on. Get up here. Get up here, buddy. I'm waiting for you. Oh, you're just gonna wait for me over there, huh? Uh, am I dead? Am I like... Act oh, wait. I can slide here, can't I? There we go. There we go. I gotta aim right at its core. There we go. I missed the first time. I am playing with Joy-Con Alejandro. Right there. I'm a heathen. I like my detached Joy-Con. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it's probably better with a pro, a pro controller, honestly, but there is the first MA. Omega Cannon depleted and offline, reverting to regular arm cannon. Okay. That was so funny. You haven't managed to counter an Emmy yet? I don't even know if I would try, to be honest. That sounds terrifying. I mean, technically, you did counter an Emmy at the very beginning, because they make you counter it. Um, I've heard, like, some people, like, that'll happen to them, where, um, what just happened to me before, where literally, like, they'll go through a door, and an Emmy will be literally in the door, and they just die. They can't do anything about it. That's literally what just happened to me. That's so funny. Right off the bat, the first one... Wow, okay, that was supposed to be easy. Okay, but cool, so I'm wondering if, like, we're probably gonna come across more of those central units, the Mother Brain-looking things, and that seems like that's what grants Samus the Omega Cannon. So that's kind of cool. Um, can't go up there yet. What? Oh, that was weird. Okay. Back here, hello! Nope, wrong button, okay. There's that whole area I can explore. I haven't gone up here yet. Yep, I got the missile tank expansion, so that was good. That was ammo. I can't go over the uh, I can't go over there until I get the oh, you can place markers and stuff. Cool. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Nice. Yeah, we got plenty of markers. I'm pretty sure Samus Returns also had this. You know what? 
Yeah, I'm gonna place. I'm gonna put a yellow marker here, so remember that I need the morph ball for that. Uh, couldn't go over there yet for some reason. That was the only easy Emmy, or it depends. There's been times where I don't even see an Emmy and I'll accidentally land on it and immediately die. Yeah, like that's the thing. I feel like you just don't even, you won't even see them. I've heard their AI is super good in this game, so we'll see how that goes, logical. Um, but yeah, I've heard like, like literally what just happened to me. I couldn't avoid that. I had no idea the Emmy was right there. <laughs> that was just very bad timing on my part. Not that I knew, but. All right. Let me check in here. Is this a, oh, is this just a safe? Uh, or is this an elevator? What is this? Those are cool statues, by the way. I think it's just a save point, yeah. Those look like Chozo statues, but also not really. No, they're totally supposed to be Chozo. They just they look different than the usual Chozo statues, but I like I welcome the difference. Oh, okay, I guess that would have been the way to get up there. I just wanna check, to be honest. I wanna see. I'm just gonna check all my corners because that's what I always do with these with Metroid. Um, okay, and enemies respawn when you enter rooms. That makes sense. I figured they do that. I'm honestly, it's funny because like, I mean, I've played plenty of Metroid games before, but I'm getting from this first environment. Oh, I can't even go up here. Okay, never mind. Um, from this first environment, I'm getting a lot of Ori vibes. I played Ori in the Blind Forest not exactly a year ago, almost a year ago, um, and obviously it's like. You know, since the, the last brand new 2D Metroid was almost 20 years ago. Pretty much 20 years ago. So, like, that's not a remake. Um, I should say, sorry, 2D Metroid game. 2D, I should specify. Um, can I shoot stuff underwater? I can. Good to know. What? Oh, we got something else. Oh, this is one of those Emmy zones, huh? Um... It makes sense that it, it's funny because this is the first like brand new 2D game in like yeah like 20 years. It's kind of funny that like so many other Metroidvanias have come out like Ori, Hollow Knight. Um, those are the big ones that come to mind. I know there's more Axiom Verge even, which took a huge inspiration from Metroid. Um, yeah, this has got to be this whole thing. I'm guessing is the Emmy Zone. So there's gonna be another Emmy here. Okay. Um, let me. I'm gonna put a marker here too, just so I know. Not that I really need to, but I'm gonna put one here. Let's go purple or magenta, whatever that color is. I might know. Can I? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that just yet. I kind of want to see. I just want to make sure I've gone everywhere I can explore. Oh, I can't even go back now, can I? I'm gonna need the morph ball for that. Okay. So I'll get them. I'll be getting the morph ball at some point. Um, going back to the switch OLED thing though, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is like, can I? Do I need an upgrade to cling onto these? I guess. I mean, I can wall jump, but I know you can cling onto these walls somehow. It's just, yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to do it now. Um, with the OLED, I think, like, I mean, there have been, there have been talks about a, a OLED, like a, sorry, a Switch Pro for a really, really long time now, right? Um, and then the OLED was announced after that, and people were like, oh, there's no 4K and whatever. Um, it's funny, though, because there was that Bloomberg article that came out what, a couple weeks ago at this point, that was like, oh, there's 11 different Switch developers that have a 4K dev kit for this Switch, and they were just, Nintendo was literally just immediately shot it down. But then, like, the day after, I can't go here, okay. The day after, they literally filed, they had a patent filed for 4K DLSS uh, upscaling through, like, one of NVIDIA's chips. And so it's like, oh, oh, this is the one that was in the first trailer. Okay, I thought it was a different one, I'm sorry. Um... Uh-oh, watch out, Samus! GLaDOS is here! Um, I feel like it's gonna be a thing at some point. It's just a matter of, is it, like, another upgraded Switch? Is it, like, the really the next version of Switch? Because I don't see them. I gotta get out of here. Ah! Uh-oh. Run, Samus! Run, Samus! Go, go, go! No! Go! Huh. Can I shoot you? Hello. I don't know if I want to try shooting. Let me, uh... Oh, come on. There we go. Ah, uh, he just, he waited for me. He baited me. He's like, yeah, I'll give you a chance to escape. Not. And then just goes for it. I gotta get the hell out of here. Okay, where am I going? Yeah, this was literally the moment in the trailer where Samus died. Okay. Can I get out of here? Where can I go? No, I see you there. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. Death number two. 
I should have at least tried to counter, honestly, because I think that's when I could have countered them. There we go. There's death number two. Emmy in the mini map. Yeah, an Emmy that enters your mini map range is displayed as a red dot. Okay. Is there a mini map? I even. Oh, duh. Yeah, there's a mini map at the top right. Um, but yeah, essentially, I feel like there's going to be. There was that patent, obviously, you know, all the Bloomberg articles. Yeah, I can skip this. Um, talking about 4K, like, it's. I really think. I don't think it's just talk. I really think it's going to happen. Um. When it will happen, I I don't know. It could be the it could be the successor to the Switch, which I still feel like is going to be some kind of Switch, you know, hybrid console. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Can I get? I gotta go. I gotta go down with the water, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. It's probably gonna keep track of my deaths too. I imagine a game like this would keep track of how many times I die. Um. But yeah, I feel like it's, there's going to be a 4K switch at some point. I just don't know when. But I, I, to me, it's worth the wait. I honestly, I think it's going to happen. I'm If it takes another five years, I will wait another five years. And that's why I'm just kind of not going to upgrade right now. Because, I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't have, you know, the OLED with the 7-inch screen in the next... Uh, whether it's, there we go. I'm supposed to go this way, right? Unless he's going to crawl through here. Can you get through here, little buddy? No, okay. Cool, that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh! That's the boss, isn't it? That's the first boss, I think. Right, the, uh, the, the other dude they showed off in the trailers. Okay. He turns invisible, though. That's interesting. I wonder if we're gonna get that cloaking device from him. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts on the Switch. Um, there was also that... Um, I think what happened when the OLED came out was that... Can I even go up here, actually? Probably not, right? I don't know, it looks like I might be able to. Um, there is a whole other area I couldn't explore here. But go green, yay. Um, oh, no, I can't. Hmm, that's a different looking door. Unless it's a missile door. No, there's no way it's a missile door. Okay. Worth a shot, but um, there was that... Uh, people took apart the OLED dock, and apparently... Oh, nice. Another missile upgrade. I will gladly take it. Maybe these are missile doors. I don't know. I swear I tried and nothing happened, but... You usually have to do, like, at least a few missiles to open those doors. Um... Yeah, why did it just... My, my joy... My, um, thumbstick is totally drifting. If that literally just happened. It's definitely drifting. What is this, though? Is this another network? Probably another network for, um... Gate or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, there was that ship that was discovered in the, in the OLED dock that can actually, it's capable of 4K. That doesn't really mean anything necessarily, especially because it's not like the, um, any version of the current Switch can do 4K. You know, you'd have to have more power to actually be able to implement that, but it's there, so it's a possibility. I feel like it's going to happen at some point, it's just a matter of when. Um, and when that happens, I'm going to upgrade that, but I think for the OLED, as tempting as it is, because, like, I could have got, I had a few chances to get it, um, you know, following Warrior64 on Twitter, I had a few chances to get the OLED, but I just kind of figured it's not worth the upgrade for me now. Um, if you haven't, if you don't have a Switch yet, like, totally get the OLED. <laughs> I'm assuming people watching this already have a Switch, but I would hope so, and I hope you would have played Dread already if you were planning on it, because I don't want to spoil anything for you. All right, both Emmy you encounter were clearly trying to capture you. Well, you don't say, Adam. <laughs> they may have been hacked. If so, it's reasonable to assume all Emmy will be hostile. Right, okay. Part of me thinks the Emmy are just bad to begin with, and that they weren't hacked necessarily, but... They send out a pulse to detect vibrations in the air within a certain range, essentially they can hear you. Right. Surveillance mode. So if they hear Sam is still going to surveillance mode... Right, and so the when, it, when we go into the line of sight of an Emmy, that's when they start chasing after you. I have a question maybe you guys know. Is this game tracking exploration percentage? I know the map gets colored in when you explore an area and you kind of have to be in every pixel. Um, you know what? I'm pretty sure, Alejandro, I'm pretty sure it does. Um, there was some percentage on the map when I opened up the map screen. I'll double check. It won't let me open up the map now, but once I'm done with this dialogue with Adam, I'll check just to be safe. I don't know if you actually... Do you have to explore every single pixel? I'm trying to remember with... Um, with uh famous returns I, I don't i mean i don't know if you had to do that i i could be wrong i have no idea um i just want to stay at a line 
Wish they had gone with the blocky type of exploration in the older games. Having the map colored like a zebra is driving me crazy. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, whereas, like, you know, Super Infusion, like, every room you would explore, it would light up the room. It would be, like, a certain color if there was, like, an, an item still hidden in there. I think Fusion was like that. Fusion had a really good map system. Um, I think they were, like, those secret rooms were green instead of pink or whatever. Um, Samus Returns, I'm pretty sure, did the exact same thing that Dread's doing. And I, I, I will admit, I mean, having that, uh... That kind of blocky design, if you will. I, I see what you're saying. I, I I feel like that has its own benefits. Um, but it is kind of annoying because like you'll have like these little pixels in the corner that you just you haven't specifically explored this corner of the room, and it's like kind of annoying. Um, I don't know if you need that for the full completion percentage, though. I'm not sure about that. And that means that a senior would be good pursuit, right? Part of the pursuit protocol is to seal the Emmy's Emmy's own exits. Okay. To survive, right. You must leave its range of pursuit. Okay, right. So in that case with that other Emmy, like I was able to kind of hide, like they can't, I guess there are some spaces they just can't crawl into. So I wonder if I just like sit in a space with the morph ball, can they just not get to me? Or maybe there's going to be other Emmy that can do that. Emmy never leaves its assigned zone. Right, okay. System must permit them to operate only within that range. Okay, and it makes sense because the, the network's pretty spotty on this planet, so it makes sense they're restricted to specific zones. Probability of death if an Emmy captures you. <laughs> and not enough, even Adam's like, yeah, good luck trying to counter them. Like, it's not going to work. I got to figure out what the countering timing is because normally when you counter it, like when you can counter an enemy, it'll show that white flash, and that's when you got to counter to time it right. I didn't even notice that with the Emmy at all. So maybe I'll have to pay attention the next time there I may be a very next time I die, which I'm sure I will plenty more times. But exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. Right, very small opportunity to escape. Right, the the Adam's saying with the countering. You lack the unique energy used to defeat the first enemy. Right. Your only option now is to evade capture. So essentially, what I'm gonna have to do is yeah, I can destroy those enemies. I wonder if you can get through this game without destroying the enemies. Honestly, I mean you probably wouldn't get 100 percent completion, but um, I wonder if that's an option kind of like almost like in breath of the wild where you can just go right to ganon i wonder if like that's a similar Your thing you could do here i wouldn't be surprised should be simply to survive. right Sur survival is key here thank you adam for the rundown so i don't really expect this streaming series to be that long because i mean 2d metroid games typically aren't long but i've also heard this game specifically isn't too too long um i guess it's pretty replayable though i think you have to play the game multiple times just to get like the best ending or get everything um i'm just gonna go through the story the once and then call it there um especially because i mean um the hyrule warriors age of calamity dlc the second wave of that is coming out in just under three weeks and i'm gonna be streaming that so i would tr prefer not to kind of cross over some of that um some of dread with that i'd rather be done with dread by then but I i'm assuming i will i have a few weeks to do um okay so let me see Right, that's not a missile door. That's just completely blocked off. Oh, okay, so I see. It looks like these lights have to be activated in order to even use any of these rooms. Like, see how the, the top left and bottom right doors, the lights are on, but the top right isn't? So I'm guessing those have to be um, locked on. Also, um, Alejandro, just to show off. Um, oh, okay, you specified tracking exploration percentage. I mean, there's item percentage right there, but that's not exploration percentage. Um, but that makes me wonder, like I said, I mean, do you need to explore every single pixel in a room? I'm not sure. I don't remember how Samus Returns did it. Samus Returns had pretty much the same map system. I don't remember how it did it, but... This is definitely a more colorful map, though, I will say, compared to Samus Returns. I remember that being a little bleak. Oh, hello, Missile Upgrade Expansion. What is that thing? Can I shoot that down, too? Or is that something else? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I need the morph ball to get that. Yep, I need the morph ball for that. Okay, let me... Can I not even go anywhere here now? Let me... No, I'll remember that. I was gonna say, I was gonna mark it, but I'm like, no, nah, I'll remember that later. I, yeah, because I don't even have the morph ball yet. But now, I can only slide under here. Oh, I'm about to go back into an enemy zone. Oh, is this the same one? Is this the same Emmy zone? Like, this whole outline, I'm wondering if that's the same Emmy zone, or if that's... I'm guessing it's probably all one. If that's the case, I mean, if there's, what, six other Emmy besides 
sorry, five of the enemy besides this one here, because we just destroyed one at the beginning. It's gonna be a fairly big map. That's good. In we go. We love we love the Emmys here. Woo! That was fun. Why can I not get back in? Oh, okay, never mind. That was weird. This is just ammo, right? Resources. Already a full. Does it mean ammo? Because the other one straight up said ammo, so that's weird. Okay. I don't know what it means by resources. I'm guessing ammo. Interesting. Okay, so the thing is, I gotta watch out for the Emmy robot itself. It could just be wandering around anywhere over here, and I gotta watch out for that. What's in this room? Have I been here yet? No, this looks new. Oh, yeah, no, this is okay. This is where I couldn't get up to before, I'm pretty sure. Alright, what do we got? <laughs> you know what would be a really dick move? Is if the Emmy could um, <laughs> come after you while you have the map open? I swear. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be so mad at that. <laughs> it would scare the shit out of me if that actually happened. Um, alright. I bet you this Emmy's lurking around somewhere here. I guarantee you. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I got, hold up. No, 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 no. Don't like that. Alright. You're just gonna, no, nope, you're gonna stay. I'm not getting out of here, am I? Oh, shit, it can straight up hear me. Bye-bye. We're good. All good. We're good to go. Good luck getting out of there. Whoa, no, I didn't say... Mm, that's drift. That was crazy drift. Holy crap. Really? Is it that bad? I'm glad I avoided that one. Okay. Oh, I hear it. You can hear it. You can hear it crawling around, but where is it? Oh, I see it on the mini-map. Okay. I'm going back in here. I'm not taking the risk. I should literally... I should be looking at the mini-map more often, honestly. Because that's what's going to tell me. Can I not see an Emmy, though, on the mini-map unless I'm in the Emmy zone itself? I guess that'd be cheating a little bit, huh? I, it's not, oh my god, yeah, it's drifting back. Wow. I didn't realize the drift was that bad on this Joy-Con. Oh my god! No! No! Go away! No, no, no. Bye-bye. You're... No. Well, I'm screwed. Yeah, there's no way to... Oh! Maybe that was it right there? Maybe that was the window right there. I'm not even sure where how you're supposed to counter them. I want to at least try to counter them. You're going to have nightmares with the Emmy sound. Oh, what? The crawling around? It's pretty terrifying. It's pretty scary. But it's like you need to... I hear it crawling around somewhere. Oh, there it is right there. I don't even want to, I don't even want to leave. I don't want to go in there with it crawling around out there. It's terrifying. Oh, man. Is there any other way I can get around? I don't think so, right? This is... No, I can't go anywhere else. I have to explore in this zone. Because, like, once it spots me, I just gotta book it. I just have to book it at that point. Slushko, what do you mean by four? Sorry, I might have been I might have been talking about something earlier and I just completely forgot. Oh, there it is, right over there. Okay, well, I'm gonna go over here. No, wait, you can't notice me. Hello. Yeah, wow, this thumbstick is drifting. Well, I didn't realize it was drifting this much. Holy crap, that's bad. I should probably do something about that. Maybe I'll try that paper trick, Alejandro. I know you mentioned that last time. Maybe I should actually try that now. Um, let me see. I could go up. Eh, just to be safe, I'm gonna keep going. Can't get up there. Okay. Okay. I think I'm good now where I'm at. Uh-oh, no. Just as I said that, look who showed up. I can't go anywhere. Okay, he's going up. He's going up. Stay there. No, shit. I am so screwed. I am so screwed. Where'd he go? Where's he going? Okay, I think he's going to the right. I think he's staying to the right. 
No, he's not. No, where's he going from here? Don't go down. Son of a... No. Okay, is there any way to get out of here? Can I actually get out of here? I don't even know how I would. But then again, I don't... Can he get in here? I'm so confused. I can't... I don't even have the morph ball. How did you get in there? No! No! Go away! <laughs> I don't know if I can get out of there from there. Oh, I've died four times. Okay. When you enter an Emmy zone, the Emmy can literally be anywhere in the entire zone. Yep. Although most of the time, it's usually near where you enter. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. No, that makes sense to be near where you enter because, like, I mean, they want to make it a little difficult. Also, I mean, depending on how soon you wait. Because, like, the thing is, those AI are just kind of roaming around as you're waiting. <laughs> so it's, like, it's kind of scary. But I've died now. I've died five times now. Actually, it's logical. Um, I need a better plan of action. Oh, that's great. I'm going to go back here. I didn't realize the stump stick. Look at how bad it's drifting. Like, literally, I nudge it in the, the left direction, and it goes way too far. Wow. Okay. That's not the game. That's my Joy-Con. I didn't realize it was that bad. Some games, I feel like I just noticed drift more than others. Shoot the wall. I thought that's what I did. I literally shot the wall. I don't know what happened. Um, there's probably some other wall I was supposed to shoot. I just didn't realize. Okay. Some games I've noticed, uh, drift. I literally didn't even move. Okay, where's he going? He's going that way. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm just gonna go back because I'm sure that's where I was supposed to go. Like, I don't see how that's not where I'm supposed to go. If you ever feel stuck, just blast everything you see. Yeah, no, there's like a lot of hidden walls and stuff that they put in these games. Okay. There's that wall I can shoot. Oh, what the heck? Okay, yeah, okay. These stupid blocks are blastable. Oh, of course they are. Yeah, they like to hide some stuff on you here, don't they? Okay. Well, that's good. That's an... At least I can get out of the Emmy zone this way. Oh, hello. Well, there we go. I guess I'm here. Can't get out of here. Oh! Ah! Good to know I can farm health here from those little guys. <laughs> They'll actually give me quite a bit. Cool. Okay. I'm surprised. It's like normally you get the Morph Ball Bomb super far into the game. Yeah, all the wall. Yeah, now five times. It's like... Yeah, because like it's 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 stupid because like they tease you. I can't even get up there without the Morph Ball. They tease you with like the little block. They show you, oh, you can shoot this. And then you're just like, what do I do now? But yeah, of course they're going to do something like that. Um... If only I had the Morph Ball. Yeah, I could really use the Morph Ball, but I'm sure I'll get it soon. I hope. <laughs> then again, I have heard you get the Morph Ball pretty late into this game now, so we'll see. I don't know. I gotta do something about that thumbstick. Is it finally time for me to get new Joy-Con? I could just do the paper trick. Maybe, we'll see. But um, The other thing I did want to bring up during this stream is, like, oh, apparently... There was that stupid... Okay, that stupid Kotaku article. I don't know if any of you saw it. Um, where it was like, Oh, uh, Metroid Dread is already up on Switch emulators and it's running great. And I'm just like, Are you fucking kidding me? Like... There's no... Okay, there's a whole argument to be made against emulation. Um, for me, it depends. I have some friends who are really into... Emulation in certain games. Um... One of my friends, like, loves playing, like, GameCube and Wii games on the emulator. However, he owns all of the games that he's emulating. He will actually, um, in some cases, he'll actually, like, rip his GameCube and Wii, uh, I don't know about his Wii discs. I can't get that. Not yet, at least. Um, and then uses those files. So not even an emulator, I guess, in that case. But sometimes he does that. Um, you shoot missiles underwater? That's cool. I didn't even realize you could do that. Maybe that's new to this game. I'm not sure. Um... Can't even wall jump underwater. Gotta love it. Um, but yeah, in terms of like just emulating, I mean, it's, it's a tough thing, right? I feel like if you own the game, it's good. Or if it's um, if it's a game that's like... Because game preservation is such an issue, right? Um, I've actually emulated a few games before. Um, 
that I haven't owned. I mean, the, the, I'm trying to remember. They were, one of them, the, the one I remember the most was Knuckles Chaotix, which was originally released on the 32X, and that game has never been re-released outside of that. So, like, I don't, to be honest, I don't care that I uh, emulated that game. I think the other one was Sonic Schoolhouse of all games, and I think I got a virus on my laptop from trying that. Don't try Sonic Schoolhouse. Um, yesterday you were at a point where you felt soft, you were soft block for 30 minutes. There was one stupid invisible block you didn't believe. Yeah, it's like, it's tough. It almost reminds me of like some of the invisible blocks in um, the original Mario Brothers 2, um, the Japan version, Lost Levels as we call it now. Um, they like to trip you up with some of those. And yeah, Alejandro, I could get a Pro Controller. I've considered it. I just, I kind of like the Joy-Con too much. I'm not going to lie. Plus, I've also heard that Pro Controllers can drift after t some time. I think they're actually similar thumbsticks to the ones in the Joy-Con. Um, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think they are. So I, I heard they can drift after a little while as well. You tend to download music from Nintendo, but only because Nintendo... Yeah, okay, yeah, that's... No, that's different. Like, music... Well, technically, music can be more annoying with copyright sometimes. But, like... Yeah, because Nintendo rarely releases their soundtrack. So many other companies, especially Sega, like almost every Sonic soundtrack you can get on iTunes, Spotify. Capcom does a lot of their music on Spotify. Nintendo does like nothing. They really don't do much at all. Um, I guess Bayonetta, you, if you can even count Bayonetta 2, I think that soundtrack's on Spotify, if you can count that. Um, but yeah, like in that case, like that's understandable. It's like, yeah, it constantly copyrights their own songs. It's it's really, if they made it more available, then people wouldn't have to download it like that. You know what I mean? Um, in cases like where music or games or whatever, movies even aren't preserved well, like I think it's a valid option. I really think it is. But with this, the case with Dread, yeah, if they don't like you listening to their music outside the actual game, right, exactly. Um, but with a game like Dread, right, this just came out. There's literally no reason. I mean, like, if you don't have the money for it, then... I mean, I'm sorry, you're kind of out of luck. Like, there are developers who worked tirelessly on this game, on this really good game, and, like, um, I mean, you just got to pay for stuff like that. The other thing is, I mean, if you want Nintendo, Nintendo's going to look at sales of this game, people buying this game. If you want um, more Metroid games to happen after this, especially 2D ones, then buy the game. You know what I mean? That's what Nintendo's gonna look at to see, okay, like, are people, were people interested? Did they like this game? That's what they're gonna look at. Um, can I not go this way? Woo! I love the 360 aiming, by the way. They made it so nice. Um, yeah, in this case, like, emulating, dr emulating Dread. Yeah, defend pirating this game. There's no defense for pirating this game. Um, Fusion and Zero Mission... I could see somewhat because those games are first of all super expensive on Game Boy Advance now the actual cartridges or you have to own a Wii U that I could kind of understand it's still I mean there's other ways to get it to purchase it but then again they're also 20 year old games you know what I mean that's one thing but this game just came out like there's no like I'm sorry but there's in my opinion and I, I mean from what I can tell a lot of people's opinions a lot of people are saying this there's no good reason to emulate this other than you're just not paying for the game and it's not fair. Oh, okay, I see what I did because I drained the water and now I can get up here. Eh, puzzle solving. Big brain moves. So yeah, Slosh Skull, I completely agree with you. It's just, it's kind of sickening. People emulating this game. Emulation in general, no. Um, emulation in general, it depends, it all depends on the context. But in this context, it is not, I'm sorry, it is not valid. What is this room? Oh, is this a map? Am I going to get a uh, new area added to the map? There we go. Ooh, wow. Okay. Big boy map. Yeah, look at that. Area map and downloaded. So they let you save your progress, too, at these stations now. That's cool. That's nice. It does look like the frame rate goes down a little bit during those uh, segments. The map, the yellow rooms are saving facilities. And the purple rooms contain transportation devices. Okay. So this is like probably an elevator or something. Yeah, this is, wow, this is drifting terribly. I didn't even realize it was this bad. And then, yeah, the, the yellow rooms are save stations. Gotcha. Okay. There's a, there's a lot of save stations. That's good. Because I can imagine, you know, if you're especially in an Emmy zone, you're running around a lot, like, you'd want to have some checkpoints or saves close by. Um, look at this. I'm not even touching the thing. And it was just going for, wow. Yeah, I got to do something about this. Ugh. I mean, like, it would be nice to have a third pair of Joy-Con. Um, or, I mean, I could do the Pro Controller. I don't know. I'll, 
I'll see. I mean, like, I just... I'm not gonna lie, I really like the form factor of just the separated Joy-Con. I know it's weird. I know I'm, like, in the minority here, but, like, I just like playing like this. I mean, it worked well for Skyward Sword HD, right, where I'm literally using the motion controls. But even without motion controls, I just like doing it like this. You know, like, in the uh, original January presentation in 2017 for the Switch, when uh, Koizumi was just like, you can do this, and, like, leaning back in the couch with the Joy-Con separated, I was like, that's me right there. That is me. Um... So then again, maybe I will just uh, get more Joy-Con. I really, I don't know if they ever will sell the white one separately. I think they sold the gray Joy-Con separately. So if they do the white separately, I might consider getting them. Um, that would be cool. The other thing is, I mean, since these are already drifting so much and I've repaired these so much, I kind of want to use these as my primary Joy-Con in case, like, you know, if I have... Not that I play multiplayer too often on the Switch. Um... But, like, if I do get a third pair, like, I'd want those to be in good condition for other people to use. And then the ones that I use are, like, the crappiest ones. So maybe I'll probably just try that thumbstick paper trick and see how that does that does the job. I, I've got the tools I need to take apart the Joy-Con. I've taken both these apart at least once each. I like the pink one twice, actually. Um, and that's the one that's drifting, which doesn't surprise me. Look at that go! Look at that drift. That's bad. Okay. Um, when did I replace... This thumbstick wasn't replaced that long ago, I don't think. Uh, gotta love it. Okay. Where to from here? <gasps> Hello, friend! Come down and attack me, no? Didn't notice me there? Okay. Okay. Um, ah! I did not jump. Oh, okay. Yeah, Drift is really gonna kill me here. I, should, I guess I should try to get a repair. Ooh. Did not time that well. I guess I gotta get this repaired before... Uh... Oh, I can get up there. Okay. I didn't think I was gonna make that. Okay. Um, what's actually up there? I know I can... It looks like I could probably go over there. Oh, is that back into the Emmy zone that way? Okay. Hello, friend. You're cool looking. Oh, hello. Come on. No? Ah! Oh, that was so bad. I gotta go. Oh, we're not looking good. Come on. Second. There we go. That's a counter right there. That was a little close. Okay. I could use an energy tank too, by the way. That'd be nice. Oh, okay. This is, um, yeah, this is this missile upgrade. Cool. Expanded by two. I forgot, but I'm pretty sure Samus returns to this too, where, um. Oh, hold up. Can I get up there? Am I gonna be able to reach that, possibly? I kinda wanna see if I can. Um, this was so smooth, by the way. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'll save, but. Stay on the platform, Samus. I'll save. Um,. Samus Returns also had, like... Because typically in some of the older 2D games, I'm pretty sure most missile expansions are upgraded by, like... I'm pretty sure you'd usually get five extra missiles per upgrade. Um, but I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly... Granted, it's been four years. Um, with Samus Returns, I'm pretty sure... Um, they also had, like, way more missile upgrades, but it was only two at a time. Random thought, but Breath of the Wild looks absolutely amazing on the OLED. Honestly, it looks like if it were in docked mode. Wow. Well, yeah, I mean, still an obvious difference, but you know, that is definitely... Oh, you again. Hello. Come on. Oh! I had time that terrible. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. Do it again. I wasn't looking. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, I really wanted to see... I don't know if I can make it from here. This jump right here. Ah, no. Okay, the door's blocked anyways. Never mind. So I can't even go there anyways. Hey, don't do that. We're good. Nice. Um, I am better. I imagine that's a great looking game on the OLED, honestly. Um, it's so like, it's, I feel like the art style of Breath of the Wild just would lend itself well to an OLED, uh, like an OLED screen, you know? This game too, I feel like with some of the, uh, some of the colors I got going. This is already way more colorful than Samus Returns, at least from what I remember, so... And it feels good. That's that 60 frames. I don't know if I don't even know to be honest. I don't know if uh, Samus Returns was 60 frames on the 3DS. I think it was 30. Ugh, we got to go back in. We got to go back into the Emmy zone. I wonder if do they, do they have actual names for the Emmy. I'm I'm gonna name each Emmy if there's no names for them. I don't know what I'm gonna name this one. Maybe Bartholomew. This is Bartholomew the Emmy. Oh, he's right there. I should not have done that. I really should not have done that. That is not good. No, no, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. We're gonna go down. 
As far down as I can go. No. No, no, no. I can go back up. That's cool. Okay, where's it going on? Either way, I am not in a good position right now. Uh, can I get up there? No. Okay. Oh, you're down there. Hello, friend. Hello, Bartholomew. I'm just gonna go up here. Don't mind me. I'm just going up here. Nope, can't go up there. Don't mind me, Bartholomew. I'm just kind of running over here. Don't mind me at all. What is that thing? Slide under there. Oh, that just brought me back there. Cool. Can I get out of here so I can plan where I'm going at least? Okay, I gotta figure out where I'm even trying to go. It looks like I can go up to the right. Love the way this game looks, but on a 70 inch 4K TV. Yeah, you know what, Alejandro, I was about to say, because uh, this is a 4K monitor right now. I don't know, I mean, you probably can't tell based off the captured footage. It probably looks fine. Um, but, I mean, on a 4K, right, because the Switch is made for 4K. Um, on a 4K screen, it does look a little rough around the edges. Some games look better than others. Honestly, Skyward Sword HD looks pretty solid on this 4K monitor. That's what I'm running off of right now. But I will say, there it does look a little jaggedy around the edges. But that's just, I mean, you know, running a 1080p game on a 4K, yeah. Um, TV, you know? I mean, especially at 70 inch. Yeah, this is just, what, a 22... 20, 24 inch monitor, I think. Um, so I can imagine, especially that, it's stretched out a bit. 4K emulation is tempting. Right, yeah, so, like, that's true, 4K emulation. Then again, like, I'm kind of... I mean, if the 4K Switch is gonna be a thing, I mean, they'd probably have to release patches for individual games, but I wouldn't see why they wouldn't put this in 4K. And this would look amazing in 4K. And you, you know Breath of the Wild... At least two would be one of the first games they do 4K for. The Emmys all have names, but they're just a bunch of letters and numbers. Well, you know what? I'm calling this one Bartholomew. Oh, hello! <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Speaking of Bartholomew, there he was. I wish it would tell me the names, like... Is there a way I can look up the names? Because, like, honestly, like, you know how some, like, numbers and letters, like, combination, they kind of, like, look like they spell out names? Like, I kind of wonder... I want to know what Bartholomew's actual, like, name is, and then I can name it appropriately based off that. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm not going to do that again, hopefully. Um... I think I was still going in the right direction, but... Because I don't think I can go anywhere from here. That door was just completely blocked off there. I just kind of want to explore. How am I already 10? Oh, oh, is it only Arteria is 10%? Because there's going to be more areas. I'm guessing that completion, that completion percentage has to be for specific areas. I think Samus Returns did that. Hello, friend, you're here. Shh, got it. Be quiet. I don't want, ba I don't want Bartholomew hearing me. It's okay, Bartholomew. You stay over there. You, you do your thing, okay? Okay, buddy? You stay over there. You do your thing. What is this? Oh, I can flood with water. That could actually help me, to be honest. Because something's gonna do. Oh, something's gonna tell me that Bartholomew isn't gonna like water. Hello, bye. <laughs> no, 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 Bartholomew, you're not allowed. Excuse me, you are not allowed to uh, go over here. Goodbye. That probably did something, honestly. Oh, ah, not again. <laughs> I did the exact same thing last time. <laughs> go away, Bartholomew. No. Getting the hell out of here. Okay, I think... Am I done? Check your log? Okay, good point. I should check the mission log. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, it tells you when you encounter one. Okay. So that was 01P. That was ULP. <laughs> and that was O2SM. Okay, I'm still going to call him Bartholomew. That is Bartholomew, little Barty. Ah! No! I don't like this. No, you can stay up there, Bartholomew. Bartholomew. It's okay. You can stay there. You're good there. You're good up there. I'm just gonna chill down here, okay? So what happens when I do this? Oh, I see. Okay. I was just checking out what the platform did, buddy. You don't have to chase me now. Come on, man. You can just stay there. I'm gonna go up here. That little stupid sentry droid right there kind of gave my position away. I didn't like that, you know? Oh! No. Bartholomew, buddy. Come on, okay? Let's... Ooh, okay. I'm gonna, gonna plan out a little bit more here. 
So I've explored a little bit of the map. So I'm wondering... It looks like you can interact with certain objects to kind of like... Make, I'm guessing that would prevent our, our friend Bartholomew over here from catching Samus. Um... You know, once we get to the next Emmys, I'm gonna I'm gonna let Chad decide the names, and if there's a good name that comes up, we'll uh, we'll stick with it. But this, this is Bartholomew, just so you know, Bartholomew. I think was this the one that they had the amiibo for? Or was that actually the first one? It might have been the first one we took out actually. I was so tempted to get the amiibo because like I see I saw plenty of two packs up there, and I'm like, oh, they look so good. But I'm like at the same time, I've got too many amiibo. I don't need any more. And, like, I wouldn't use them for the functionality. It would just be for, for the uh, collecting purposes. Just a hidden item there. I mean, I'm guessing I pretty much just have to explore the zone, right? There's nothing else I could do over here, right? I checked that area before. Hey, Thumbstick, let's not drift anymore. Thank you. Okay. This stupid little sentry droid sucks. I hate this thing. Can you even destroy it? I don't think you can destroy it. That's so annoying. Right down with me, buddy. You stay over there. I'm gonna chill here. What does this do? Can I? Oh, I, I feeling I know what item I need for that. Bartholomew, you, you just don't pay any mind to my movements. You can just do your thing there. I'm gonna chill here. So, okay, what if I try to, what? Oh, I can't do it now. What the hell? I literally was doing it before. It won't let me do it now, though. So here's the thing I gotta plan out. Can I actually go anywhere from here? Because I don't think I can interact with that. <laughs> next one will be Roberto. Oh, that's actually a good name. I should have thought of that. Okay, Roberto's the next one. I don't know what color, which color Emmy it is, but that's the next one. I don't know if there's literally... I don't know if there's anything else I can explore here. I don't even have the Morph Ball. Bartholomew, you know where I'm supposed to go from here, buddy? Any ideas? He's totally going to show up out of that door, and I'm not going to like that. Let me try it, though. Yeah, okay, he's right there. Right there. Not going to do that. Not going to do that. I don't know if there's anywhere I can go from here. Like, I, I, I probably missed something, but let me just see. I can use some more health, too, honestly. Get down here, friend. Oh, what? <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Is there anywhere I haven't explored over here? Because, like, I was trying to get over to that area off to the left, but I literally couldn't do that. So let me see. There's a way I can get over there. You've, oh, you've already made up the, your own names? That's funny. I mean, it's just like, come on. You know, they're, they're significant enough to the game where it's like... They got, you know, they kind of deserve to have their own names, you know? Okay. Maybe I can go back up where I came from? Up here? Because there's no way I can go down. You know? Okay, the counter's kind of coming back to me. I mean, I practice a lot of it back in Samus Returns. So it's kind of coming back to me. Oh, I would love that energy tank so much. But I can't get to it. Maybe somewhere up here I can go now. I did drain that water earlier, so maybe... Received Adam May. Right, okay. Oh, and cool, so you can actually reread the, the briefings, too. I like that. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, I'll save. Why not? Why the hell not? You called the first one Clanky and this one... Oh, Emerson. I love that name. That's a good name. I won't steal your names, though, Sloshkull. These are going to be completely original names for these ones in this in this playthrough. Don't ask me why I named the, this one Bartholomew. I don't even know what the first one is. The first one can just be called Rusty. <laughs> and this one is Bartholomew. And then Alejandro, you said the next one's Roberto. Okay. You know, it, it'd be really funny if it's... Um, when I think Roberto, I think of Roberto, the uh, the robot from uh, Futurama, if you watch Futurama at all. Um, oh, I can go up here now, can't I? Ooh, no, I can't. Ah, shit. I don't have the Morph Ball. I keep thinking I have the Morph Ball, because it's like literally... You have the next two named as well. Next two named for the ones in this stream, because, like, you, you, you'll have to let me know when that shows up. Um, when those next Emmys show up, but... Yeah, so I... I no, I gotta go through the Emmy zone. There's, I can't go anywhere from there. Can't go up there. Oh, 
Not having the morph ball this er uh it's like normally you'd have it. It just feels so weird. It feels so bizarre. You know, because like in Samus Returns, and I'm guessing once you get the morph ball, you just grab onto a ledge and you go into morph ball mode and you go right in those gaps there. But like, it's just, ugh. It's so painful not to have it. Okay. So I can go up here. But it looks like I'm going to have to access this door from the other side, so I can't go there yet. I got to go through the Emmy Zone, huh? You got the third and the fourth Emmys named. Okay. You'll have to remind me once we get to that. It's probably going to be a bit. I wonder, part of me wonders, like, kind of like I was saying earlier, like, if you can actually get through the game. Blast everything! If you can get through the game, <laughs> Sam's just spamming the arm getting it. Um, if you can get through the game without destroying the Emmy, like, I feel like that would be a cool speedrunning challenge. I bet you that'd be, like, really cool to watch. And just, like, somehow watch people narrowly avoid the Emmy. Actually, can you slide under Emmy? Because you could with the first one, so it makes me wonder if you can with the other ones. Um... Also, I just realized, how the hell do I get back here? How did I get- Oh, I gotta go through the save room. Duh, okay. Gotta go through there, my bad. Are we allowed to give hints? Mm. See, I know it's gotta be through the Emmy zone, Alejandro. I mean, like... If it takes, like, super, super long, then sure. Like, I'll let you know. I appreciate the gesture. Um, I mean, I'm guessing it's just something in the Emmy zone. Or I'm just literally... Unless the hint is still shoot everywhere until you destroy a hidden block. Because, like, I could see that. Hello, friend. Bye-bye. Don't think there's anything up there. I think I just gotta go back to the Emmy zone. You can slide under Emmy is after... Oh, countering them. Okay, then you can slide. Gotcha. I hate this little sentry drone here. He's just super annoying. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if he can notice me from here. No, okay. He just kind of checks in. That's fair. So I should probably watch out for this little sentry drone guy. Where'd he go? He's right there. There he is. And he probably alerts the Emmy. So what happens if I slide here now? Oh, he notices. Okay. Oh, hello. No. <laughs> but all of you. Not today, buddy. No, thank you. <laughs> I shouldn't have made that. I know I just gotta go for it. I just gotta do it. I know I have to. Um... Alright, Alejandro, tell me it's it's in the Emmy zone, right? Or Sloshical, either one. Either one of you. It's in the Emmy zone, I gotta find the way. The next way forward, right? Like, it has to be. Where are you, Bartholomew? I see you there. I'll wait for you to kind of do your thing and go away. There he goes. Now, I don't want to wait too long. Or I want to wait long enough, because otherwise he's going to be right at the door. And I don't want that to happen. He's going down. Okay. I hear you, but where are you? Let me try going up. Is there any way up I can go? This thing I can't interact with yet, I don't think. Check the right side of the area you flooded. So not in the Emmy zone? You mean like up here, like in this area? Don't tell me there's like a hidden area over here, I swear. All right, Bartholomew, you say put... I'm gonna go check. Oh, hello. That's nice. It almost looks like I might be able to go down there somehow. The other thing is, though, is that that was being flooded, so I wonder if I do have to go down here. If there's a way to get down there somehow. Alejandro, when you say the right side of the area flooded, do you mean, like, outside of the Emmy zone, or are you including the Emmy zone here? Because I don't think there's anything else I can do, unless it's up here somehow. In the Emmy zone. Okay, okay. Okay. 
I was gonna say, because I was like, I don't think there's anything else I can do here, to be honest. Alright, I'm waiting for you, Bartholomew. I know you're gonna show up. I'll give you a couple seconds. Yeah, I'm guessing it's gotta be around here somewhere. I've gotta be able to get probably here, to be honest. I'm gonna let this little sentry dude do his thing. I swear, if the Emmy's right there, it's probably gonna be right there, isn't it? I'm gonna go down this door. Oh, there he is right there. Where's he gone? So what you're telling me is I gotta run... R oh, I gotta run right into where he's gone. That's nice. Ah! Where is he? Is he climbing up? No. Okay. Bartholomew, buddy. Bartholomew, don't do it. Okay, he's going down. Oh, shit. Okay. That <laughs> actually scared me. Oh, no. Bartholomew, I don't have the morph ball. Okay, buddy, you gotta wait for me to have the morph ball, and then you can you can charge after me, okay? Then we'll be good. Oh, hello, friend. Yeah, okay. Can I counter him? Right, okay. I think the flash is when they show their hand. Check areas of the map you haven't ex explored that are accessible, whether or not the Emmy zones or not. See, it's it, it's my, my dread, play on words there, of not wanting to explore the Emmy zones, but I just gotta do it. I know I do. I think the counter, like, the window for the countering looked like when they had the, when he had the handout, like, right there. I think I saw the flash there. I think that's how you counter. I could be wrong, but I'm guessing that's what needs to happen. All right, come on. Bartholomew, I know you're going to show up. There you are. So, yeah, I got to go down. Oh, you saw me. Hello, friend. <laughs> Can you get in here, though? Okay, <laughs> I guess that was too close. Hey, out of my way, buddy. That was funny. Okay, let me just check to see where I'm actually going. I, it's got to be down, so I can't go up there. But I don't think... I, I can't even make it here, because it's just too high up for me. Oh, duh, I can slide under here. I'm so stupid. I don't know why. I didn't think I could go in that little area before. I really didn't think I could. But I can. What do these little sentry drones do? Like, I know I can't... Do they just annoy me? Is that the point? Can't go up. Okay, cool. Now we're out of the Emmy zone. Look at that. Look at that. I just, for some reason, I didn't think I could slide under that area before. I just did not even... It didn't just, it just didn't connect with me. I gotta pay more attention. There we go. I'll get some more. Oh, definitely more energy for sure. I wonder if when it said resources at that other statue, it probably meant, like, ammo and health as well. Up. Cool. Well, that's a, that's a good that's a good uh, point of progress there. I can't get up there yet. I can go left. What about right? I can also go right. Question is, which way do I want to go? Let's go this way. It connects back to the other area. I want to go this way. Oh, hello. Those oh the little digger dudes. Yeah, from uh... these guys are in previous games. I'm pretty sure. They're they're kind of annoying in here though. But, definitely... Oh, I can't even go this way. Okay. Definitely a good place to farm health or ammo if you need it. Okay. But good to know that's over there. Yeah, I don't need that marker. Yeah, let's get that out of there. Cool. Okay. Off to the left. No, nah, I don't need any of that. Oh, hello. Whoa. Okay, they shoot at those, like, poisonous ball-looking things. Okay, interesting. Hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Excuse me. Oh. What do we have down here? Is this gonna be a missile, or that might be something separate? Oh, no, it was. Cool. Okay. That's a missile door. That's what the missile doors look like. Good to know. What is that? That blue area. Oh, that looked like a cold area, actually. I saw, like, the the snowfall in that area. That looked a little, uh, a little chilly. Hey. Oh, okay. Hello. Okay. But I can't actually go to any of these areas. I can slide under here, though. What's under here? Woo. Oh, is this finally the morph ball? Oh, no. Charge beam. Okay. That's solid. Oh, so those doors that weren't lit up, I gotta use a charge beam. I was right about that. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Look at that. First upgrade, finally. I feel like it took a while. <laughs> Focus this beam energy to unleash a powerful shot. Press and hold. Okay. Right. So I just gotta hold it. Charge shots damage enemies immune to normal beam shots. Robots and buff. Well, the Emmys still can't be damaged by charge shots, right? <laughs> when they say robots, I don't think they mean Emmys. They can also, yeah, open the charge beam doors. Perform a charge attack by spin jumping when the beam is... Oh, really? Interesting. I didn't... Has that been a thing before in previous games? Let me try it. 
Oh, that's so cool. Is it essentially going to act like the screw attack? I don't think that's been in previous games. That's kind of cool. I like it. Cool. There we go. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I was trying to remember how to actually, like, um, access any of that stuff. Okay. Now, I've been here before, right? Oh, yeah. This was the very start of the game, right? Did not take it long to defeat that guy now at all. Cool. Now the nice thing is I can go back and actually pick out some other areas. That, I think that's a cold area, so I probably don't want to go in that just yet. Now I can actually go back and explore. There's going to be a lot of backtracking in this, no doubt. Um, how does this work, actually? Did that damage at all? It's probably better for, like, uh, flying enemies, honestly. I wonder what it actually exactly does, though. You know? I'll be curious to see how that works. Um, okay. So that was just ammo recharge. Yeah, let me see what's over here. There's got to be a lot of backtracking, but... I don't know. I, I kind of enjoy the backtracking in... I mean, for the, for the most part, I would enjoy the... I'd say I enjoy the backtracking. Ooh, nice. Of, um... Can't shoot him through here. Okay, that's fair. Yay, more energy tank. Good, 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 good. Give me more. Um, in the in the Metroid game. But there's, there's a few exceptions where it gets pretty bad sometimes. Um, I just, I like the natural sense of progression, like exploration, like, you know, getting these upgrades allows you to explore more. It's kind of cool. I don't know. Oh, I'm back here now. This looks familiar. Now these areas are just kind of all connecting together, which is so good. Uh, I'm going to try to go for 100%. I'm not going for, like, fastest time or anything. I'm just going to try to get as many upgrades as I possibly can. That's kind of my goal here. Don't have a high enough jump to get up there yet. Yeah. Oh, wait. There we go. I gotta practice my timing with the counter so that when I, uh, if I ever want to counter an enemy, then maybe I can actually pull it off. Who knows? Probably not. I'm not ever expecting to with the counters, but. Um, where do I want to go? I can go off to the right, it looks like. Oh, yeah, there's gotta be something. Oh, central. Oh, wait. No, I already did that. That was the central unit I already took care of earlier on, right? Okay. So I don't need to do that. I doubt I can go up there yet. I love how they just... Even, especially in Samus Returns, they just made Samus way more versatile. Like, just... The counterattacks, not even that, though, but just, like, grabbing onto ledges and being able to pull yourself up from there. Like, that was unheard of in previous Metroid games, and they just made the the movement so much more fluid and especially i mean even now with these with like the the running counter like that like that's a huge improvement as well can't go up there um so i i really i took care of everything here unless like alejandro like you were suggesting i have to explore every single pixel of the map i hope not but <laughs> maybe that's gonna be a thing i have no idea um i'm trying to think in terms of my favorite metroid games can't go in there yet um my favorite... I mean, I'm trying to think. 2D, specifically? I really did like Fusion a lot, honestly. Um, Zero Mission was pretty solid. Fusion, I mean, was pretty... It was more linear than some of the other Metroid games, but it was still a, it was still really good. Um, just the SAX atmosphere was really cool, but it seems like the Emmy are going to be that same feeling, but like dialed up to 11 here, um, which is awesome, honestly. Oh, this is a, a charge door. Nice. Is there anything of value down here? Oh, is there? Oh, no. Oh, hello. Another central unit. But hold on. I want to... No. I want to get... Oh, I need the morph ball. Cool. Okay. Well, I guess I got to explore here. So there's this... Okay. So the central unit... Is this it right here? Yeah, okay. I'm probably going to... The Emmy's going to show up, though. Our friend uh, Bartholomew's probably going to show up, though, isn't he? Hello, central unit. Not mother brain looking thing. That's so cool that they kind of carried that background still. So, our friend Bartholomew could still easily show up here, it looks like. How do I go down? That's just kind of... That's got to be my next objective. i got to get to that central unit. Okay, well, I don't hear our good old friend Bartholomew just yet. Oh, wait. I've, I've been in this area before. This seems familiar, right? I think I came in through this entrance earlier. 
There's gotta there's gotta be a way to get lower down. Right? There's gotta be a way. Do any other charge doors? Yeah, there's one up there. I, I haven't uh, gone back to yet. I should probably go up there. To be honest, maybe I shouldn't be back in the Emmy zone, but oh well. Okay, our friend Bartholomew's up there. I've got the charge beam, so that, oh, uh, that helps a little bit. Helps a little bit. No, no, no. No, no, no. Maybe I should try that first, honestly, before I do anything reckless and actually, like, do anything with the Emmy zone right there. Um, yeah, you know what? Let me, let me try that first. Actually, what's over here? Oh, that's how I got him before. Gotcha. Okay. All these areas just kind of connect. You know, like, when you, uh, if any of you have, uh, kind of experienced this, but, like, when you're driving out somewhere where, like, you're not, like, too familiar with, but you know some parts of, and, like, you're going to, like, new roads and stuff like that to explore, and then, like, it all kind of connects, and you're just like, oh my god, like, this all connects together? That's literally what Metroid games feel like. You know, and you actually, oh, I don't need to go here. Wrong way. Um. Oh, wait a second. I'm not gonna be able to get up there without... Okay, I just straight up, I gotta go through the Emmy zone, or I go back here, and... Mm, I do want to go back up there, though. Yeah, okay. Well, I gotta do that. Oh, well. It is what it is. Alright, Bartholomew, paying you a visit again. Let's go. So that's kind of what Metro games are like. It's just like you explore different rooms. I mean, you can see it, obviously, way more easily, at least in the newer games, not the original, uh... The original couple games. I don't even think Sam is, uh... I don't, I don't know if Return of Samus had... The Game Boy 1 had a map. If it did, it certainly wasn't memorable. Um, wait, but now that it's flooded... Yeah, I gotta go this way then. Okay. Gotta go down and around. Uh, I swear, if you're on the other side of this door... Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> I was about to have a problem. Oh, wait. Oh! I see you. I know you're here. Well, that's not good. I'm just gonna, uh... Give him a second to refresh and I'll go back in after. No! Ah, uh, the drift, I swear. Stop it! I'm not even- I'm literally not even touching the thumbstick right there. Okay. That was crazy. This drift is way worse than I thought. I'll give Bartholomew a bit to, uh, catch up. It literally could be right there. I have no idea. I wonder if it would even show you on the mini-map if there's... I'm, I'm guessing not, because you're not in the actual area, right? If the the enemy's going to be there or not. I don't know. All right. What time I got? I'm already at 8.30? Wow. Okay. Haven't made a ton of progress, but... That's all good. Okay. I'm trying to rely on sound here. You know, you know what other game really relies on sound? Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 4, and that game was really bad. I did not like that game at all. Oh, he's right there. Where are you going, buddy? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. You don't have to go around that way. No. That's it. I'm just going to lure him in. Ha! Oh, no! No! Oh, friend! Ready? Oh, that's it. That's the flash. That is 100% it. Good thing about my new Joy-Cons is no drift for now. Yeah, I know. That's the nice thing about getting a new Joy-Con. Um, I'm guessing you're using the uh, the OLED Joy-Con, right? Actually, Sauce did you end up getting the white one, or did you end up getting the, the multicolored one? I actually did originally have the multicolored... Um, I had the multicolored original model switch. Um, but the, the, the gray ones, I don't know. The gray Joy-Con just really did not appeal to me. Um... Oh, that's nice. He's just right there. Can you, no, stay up. Bartholomew, buddy, stay up there, please. Okay, stay up. Do your thing. No, don't, no, don't, please don't come down here. Please don't come down here. No, you, you, you know, you don't have to do that. I'm just gonna say right now. Okay, which way are you going down? Left or right? Right? Uh, left? Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, now that you're chasing me, I can kind of just go around you, so that's nice. Can't go that way. Go up, 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 Where are you? There you are. Hello, friend. Don't mind me. I don't think I can go up there yet. I just kind of want to get out of this area. Is there any reason to go down? 
No, I think I want to go up. I think. Oh! Actually, I can just wait for him in here. <laughs> Let's see if he follows me in here. You got the white ones? Nice. The white ones look really clean, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> he's not gonna be able to get me in here. Oh, he doesn't even know I'm here. Okay. That's funny. I also just noticed the minimap actually flashes when that happens, so that's kind of cool. Um, I could just leave the enemies out now, honestly. Yeah, okay, now I can get to that other charge beam door. There we go. Um, I know I should totally use the charge beam here, but I don't feel like it. Um, I, I, if they, I would really love for them to sell those Joy-Cons separately. That'd be great. Because um, I would definitely be, <laughs> I would be very tempted to get those. It, just, it looks really nice, I'm not going to lie. The, the, the white... Um, kind of like the Emmy, at least this Emmy that's chasing us now. That, uh, that look. What does it mean by sensor locked door? Oh, I see. So probably, because I know I can get a cloaking device at some point. That's probably what I need. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, speaking of which. You can literally see it. Yeah, that's the boss. It's literally cloaking right now. So this has got to be the way to get to the boss. Okay. Another sensor locker. Yep, there it is right there. Hi, Joy-Con, stop drifting, please. Thank you. Um, so, honestly, the boss is probably up here. Let me save. What's up, Adam? How you doing, buddy? That, I, I'm not, I'm never gonna get over that Adam AI voice. That is, like, literally bone-chilling. There we go. This has gotta be the way to the boss. I'm guessing the boss is somewhere over here. Ooh, I like this music. I like this music. Let's get that uh, missile upgrade. Some of the missile tank uh, upgrades aren't too difficult to actually get. And, and uh, I remember I remember in uh, Samus Returns, they weren't too, too bad. And like, I'm guessing here, because the, there's so many more of them now, they only give two missiles. Ooh, those... I was not expecting that to happen. There we go. Anything over here? No. Okay. So when the Emmy scan... Thing, yeah, it's blue. It means they haven't spotted you yet and can't hear you when it turns yellow. Yeah, no. So yellow, they hear you, but they don't see you. And then when it turns red, obviously. Yeah, it's when they... Yeah, okay. So I, I, pretty, I pretty much understood that. The one thing I didn't realize before is that the minimap actually blinks um, certain colors as well, which is kind of cool. Um, I didn't realize that until now. I gotta, I really need to pay attention to that minimap because that's going to be super helpful. No, okay. I can't get there yet. Looks like I'm just going through here. Ooh, I love... Ooh. It's, it's the not north air of the game. That's cool. Look at that. Let's just take a minute and just breathe that in. Look at that. That is awesome. I didn't see the boss in the background, though. Like, the, the cloaked version of it. The invisible version. Oh, it looks like I'm probably going to be able to explore down there, too. Oh, that's awesome. I feel like every 2D Metroid game has, like, a tunnel. Maybe since Super. I'm pretty sure Fusion had it, where there's literally, like, a tunnel, and you can, like, you can see there's an explorable area underneath the tunnel that you could eventually get to, but way later on in the game. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about that. It's just, it's a thing. It's a, it's a Metroid trope, I guess. All right, now we're making progress. Charge beam more and a charge beam more. Cool. But it looks like... That's gonna be. There's no way I, I need the various suit to get through that. There's no way I'm getting in there now. Hello, friend. Bye, bye, friend. There's a save room here too, which is good. Then the sensor door. Okay. Let me at least save here. Kind of creepy how they're kind of dark when you first get there, and then uh, you get to the save and it actually works out. Good, good stuff. Oh, so apparently here's another fun topic. Well, not not fun. Fun is a loose term for it. Um. I was doing my, uh, I, I bought, like, a little word search book a little while ago. That's gotta be the boss. Why is it? Oh, no, hold up. Let me double check, but I think I need the various suit for that, too. Let me just double check to be safe. Always double check. Um, yeah, you know, there's no way I'm getting in there now. It's way too hot to get into. Um, there might be a certain other boss in there that I'm thinking of that I'm not gonna mention. Um, woo! Um, but yeah, like I was doing, so I, I bought a little word search book a little while ago. I, I like, I usually like to do a lot of puzzle books, like in the morning, just a couple. Get the, get the brain juices flowing a bit. Um, and I, so I bought a word search book. Word searches are usually pretty easy, though. It's not too complex. Um, what is this? Interesting. The thermal's fuel flow has been re- Oh, so am I going to be able to explore, like, 
previously hot areas maybe now? That'd be cool. Or is it gonna... Oh. Never mind, okay. I thought it would have made... No, okay, never mind. It just opened certain doors. Cool. That's. I mean, that's still cool. Uh, what is... Access closed. Okay. Open the... Okay, I got you. I got you. Um, ah, I could totally get in there, but I can't. No more fall! Again, ruins me. Um, but yeah, I was, doing the, I was doing this word search today. And like, of course, like one of the word searches I was doing was literally bees and wasps. And I'm like, like the names of them. And I'm like, this is the worst word search ever, right? Because I just, I, I hate, I try not to hate bees. I've talked about this before during Skyward Sword. I try not to hate bees because they actually, you know, they pollinate flowers and everything. Wasps and hornets and stuff, I don't think they do anything good. I just genuinely don't think they do anything good. So I don't know. Um, I think I can go there, but that was a sensory door, so I can't go there yet. I don't have the barrier suit for that. Um... Oh, I could probably go. Mm. It's showing me like the thermal path almost kind of leads up here. Um, this is open now at least, which is good. I wonder if that means I can explore more of the Emmy zone. Well, is that open now, I guess? That thermal door? No. Okay, it's still locked. That's annoying. I was hoping that'd be open, but it does not look like it is. Is there another thermal thing somewhere that I missed? Maybe. I used that. Is there any other kind of, like, thermal door I can do? What is down here? Did I explore this before? Oh no, this is the... This is the... Yeah, this is the central unit area. I've been in here before. Okay, don't need to do that. Uh, but anyways, I was looking through this word search. Uh, like, bees and wasps. First of all, that's bad enough, right? Like, I, I, just, I do not like wasps and all of them. Like, this is a great... This is great. This is amazing, you know? Um, and then, it turns out, there's a thing called a spider wasp. Um, and I looked up a picture of it, and I wish I had it. It, I mean, it doesn't look fully like a spider, but it's like, imagine what a wasp would look like if it was to be a spider, but also still kind of, you know, obtain the, still have the characteristics of like a normal wasp. And I was just like, that is something I wish I did never saw, and uh, I regret every moment of my life. <laughs> so that was not great. Um, what's interesting is that I can't do that thermal door thing right there. The gr okay, you know what it is? The gray is throwing me off because it almost looks like the gray is like what I haven't explored, but I have explored it, right? Or maybe I have. It's, it's because it's the Emmy zone. It's a different color. That's what's throwing I wish they did a different color than gray. That's what's throwing me off here. Um, But I don't think I can do anything else over here. I can't go into those hot areas and I'm literally going to die if I do that. Um... Are there any other thermal doors? Oh, this is a globe map. Cool. Oh, and they tell you how many Emmy are remaining. Yeah, okay, that's cool. I like it. Um, oh, actually. Yeah, this guy. Okay, I need to go over there now. There we go. That's what it's got to be. Because none of the... Wait. Excuse me, what? Wait, 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 wait. What am I missing here? Am I, oh, am I supposed to get new orders from Adam or something? Is that what it's telling me? Adam, what do you want, dude? <laughs> More Adam talk, okay. There is no record of your assailant in the Federation database. Ah, no record to the... There right. Record no record to the Chozo. Warrior tribe. Chozo Warrior Tribe. Possibility that you are connected. They had some... A little bit of um, background lore on this in Samus Returns, I remember. I think you had to get, like, the best ending in order to view them or something like that, the but... Warrior Tribe's architecture and artifacts on this planet. Okay. I conclude that this was one of their settlements. So the Chozo Warrior Tribe lived on planet ZDR. And sent the Emmy after you. The footage of the ex-parasite may have been staged. Exactly what I was thinking, Adam, is that it was staged and that they don't actually exist. 
But who, why would someone lead you here? Maybe because they just hate Samus. Maybe they want Samus' um, power armor. I don't know. Thank you, Adam. Right. Close thermal doors. Thank you, Adam, my friend. And yeah, I need to find the, o the Omega weapons again. And then I can destroy some of the enemies. This energy is limited. You may have noticed it dissipating after, after an Emmy's destroyed. Right, so I can only destroy... I can pretty much only destroy one no Emmy per, yeah. like, um, central that. unit, I find. You have no means to confront them. I mean, at the same time, Bartholomew's gotta pay. He's killed me plenty of times. You know? He, he kinda... I think he needs to pay for what he's done. For his crimes against Samus Aran. Um, so the central unit, this is probably the one I'd want to go to to destroy Bartholomew, our good friend Bartholomew. I mean, do I want to destroy Bartholomew? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. No second guessing there. Okay. Um, oh, gotcha. Okay, now it's actually looking good here. So now that I have these thermal doors open, I can actually explore a little bit more. 38.45, wow. I'll probably, I'll end the stream pretty soon. Um... I doubt I, I, I need to morph ball for that thing. So it looks like there's another thermal door. I'm looking at, there's all these thermal doors here. I probably just want to go through those doors. It's not super, lin it's not really linear per se, but it's like, you can see enough of a path if you know like what upgrade you just got and then kind of go from there. Oh, hello friend. <laughs> no, thank you, Bartholomew. I'm going to leave you there for a second. Give him some time. Oh, that, 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 that was not me was the thumbstick. All right, Bartholomew, where are you? I see you over there. Oh. I see you over there. Where are you going? Where are you? Oh, hi. There you are. Oh, hi. There you are. It's okay. You don't see... Oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I don't know how I jumped over him right there. That was wild. How did I do that? That was crazy. Okay. Can we give it, give it a little bit of time? Give it a little bit? Alright, we're going back in. Ugh. I mean, he knows we activated the thermal stuff, right? Ah, stop moving! Okay. I just, I, I'm pretty, I've pretty much explored everything in this area, I think. I just have to head back. Okay. Woo, not going there. Hello, friend. Hi, Bartholomew. How you doing, buddy? Listen, I'm, uh... No, no. Open the door. Open the door. Okay. Where's the next thermal door? Yeah, it looks like it's down to the left. I'm gonna go that way. Whee! Good luck catching me now! Ha-ha! I'm too fast for you now. Oh! Okay. Oh, this area. Rats! Ah! No, I wanted that missile. Ah! No. No. Aww. I went all the way down. Yeah, Alejandro, I don't know how I survived that. I don't know how I made that. But it does look like... Um... Yeah, it does look like I'm going to be able to get to the central unit soon. I think I'm going to kill Bartholomew this stream. I'm sorry, Bartholomew, but you just you kind of got it coming to you. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah, it's going to be right in here for sure. Sorry, Bartholomew. I get you know I had to do it to him. I'm waiting to see if I hear him show up at all. I don't hear anything at the moment, but okay, it's another door. Oh shit! He got in here. How'd you get in here, buddy? How'd you get in here? Come on. I'm gonna go around and I can get back in there. That's where I want to go Where is it? I just saw him before where'd he go? All right, gotta get that central unit. Let's take him out Hello friend. Oh <laughs> It's kind of like a boss. Wow, okay So what do I have to do? Oh, this is so cool. I love this. This is literally a throwback to uh to like Metro. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. Okay, how do I. Can I take the turret out at all? Missiles? 
Is that damaging it, actually? I'm trying to... I think it's damaging it, right? This is straight up a throwback to, you know, the original boss in, uh... Like, the original Metroid. I love it. Oh, that's creepy. That's terrifying. Ah! No hit run. Here we go. Right in it. Right here. Here we go. I'm out of missiles, but... There we go. There we go. Look at that. No hit run. Right there. Look at that. Oh! So are they... They're each connected to... Oh, now he knows. They're each connect... Each Emmy is connected to a central unit. That's kind of terrifying that they're all like the mother brains. Alright, come on. Bartholomew, come on. It's you and me, man. Let's go. The energy from the central unit... Yeah, so now we got the Omega Cannon again. Omega Blaster unlocked. It's now or never. We just gotta take him out. Or is he gonna come in here? No, he's not gonna come in here. Um, can I... No, none of those other things are hit with the... Uh... Oh, Omega Stream. That's different. Oh, I see. You can actually, if you hold the bumper while... that. Okay. I see. So you can either do Rapid Fire or you can do like the, the Crazy Blast. Okay. He's gonna be right there, isn't he? Bartholomew, man, come on, just come out through the door. Come on, brother, come on. Let's go. It's time to kill Bartholomew. Where are you? Let me get a good look of your face. I just wanna shoot you in the face. I okay, perfect, this is it, right here. Right here, come on, come on. Oh, come on, this is it. Bartholomew, friend, buddy, bye! What? Shit, no! <laughs> no, no, no. What? Wait. Oh, because its core needs to be exposed. Well, I can't go up there. That sucks. But I can go through here. Hmm. Oh. Let me try it again. Because something doesn't seem right about this. Like, why? I see you. I need its core to be exposed. I probably have to wait. Come on. Or do I need to do the, um, maybe I need to do the, um, yeah, like this thing. Maybe I need to do the, uh, the rapid fire. There we go. Now it's doing something. Ah, pick it up. Yeah. Come on. Oh, right at the last second. Boom. That, that, that actually got way too close. I, I was taking a massive risk of doing that at the last second. That was sick. I'm sorry, Bartholomew, but it had to be done. Oh. Do you get upgrades every time you defeat? Oh. Every time you defeat Emmys, you get upgrades. Well, no. So I'm going to confront them all. If you get upgrades for defeating them, of course I'm going to do that. Hey, let's go. We got the spider magnet. So that should, yeah, it's going to let us cling onto walls. Blue magnetic surface walls and ceilings using a magnetic field. Okay. Tilt the left stick in the direction of certain walls. Right. Okay. So it's pretty much... It's interesting because the um, previous games used to have, like, the spider ball ability. Um, I, that seems to be essentially what this is. But this is kind of cooler. I'm not going to lie. The spider ball was pretty slow. Especially, I mean, Metroid 2. Like, in Return of Samus... Let's do the stupid chair. I got to replace it. Um, Return of Samus, like, using the spider ball just to, like, literally explore every nook and cranny for Metroids and other items. So annoying, but this seems a little a little faster. And you can move and attack while you're there. That's so nice. I really like that. Yay, we did it. Omega Cannon depleting offline. Yay! This is no longer an Emmy zone. <laughs> now that Bartholomew's done. Gotta find Roberto for the next one. We're gonna take him out. Cool. Okay. That answers your previous question. You can't beat the game. You can't beat the game without defeating each Emmy. Okay. It's just it the way well, I mean, it's it's just for story purposes, like early on, like Adam saying, like, don't necessarily confront them, but, like, it seems like you have to. Because of the abilities you get from them. Yeah, exactly. So. And so, I feel like it would have been cool if they had some, like, if they at least made it, like, maybe optional in some cases. Like, maybe you don't get the, maybe to get the best ending. What is that? Item cube. Interesting. Maybe, like, to get the best ending, you have to, um, de defeat all the enemies. You know, you know what I mean? Like, something like that. I feel like that would have been kind of cool, but this still works. This works out. We gotta take them all out. 
Okay, what is that? That item cube thing was super weird. Um, at 8.54. I'm honestly, I'm going to end the stream now. That was a pretty good place to end the stream. I'm going to save quickly. And then... what's the, Where's the closest save room, actually? What is that? Oh, it's central unit. I am going to... It's a lot more... Uh, a lot more light, lighted up in here now. Okay. I think, yeah, I gotta go up north to get to the closest save room, but... There we go. That was pretty solid. So, I haven't even gotten to the first boss yet. At all. <laughs> I'm definitely... I, I figured I was gonna be a little slower with this game compared to others, but, like... I'm also the one, the type of person to literally explore every single area. Like, every nook and cranny just to find things. Um, so, like, it, it doesn't surprise me that this is gonna take me a while. Uh, the real question is, how do I actually get out of here? Oh, duh, I'm so stupid. I have the spider magnet. How does it work? Oh, you just cling on, huh? Nice! It's automatic. I like that. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, now I can actually get out of here. That's good. Um... See, these stupid little guys. I hate these things. I don't know. Can you take them out with missiles, maybe? Oh, yeah, missile work. Okay. Probably should have tried that earlier on. <laughs> to be honest. I guess I can't get over there. No. Okay. Still no morph ball, huh? That's the weird part. Still no morph ball. But I can get that up missile upgrade up there now, I think. I like that you can also, like, wall jump across just to get the stuff. That's kind of that's nice, honestly. Oh. I'm actually supposed to go up here, huh? There we go. 20% for items, not bad. That's gotta be just Arteria, though. I'm guessing it's for each, like, major area. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to that save room right there, I think. Ooh, fan Oh! Whoa, really? I can get into the next Emmy zone from here? Uh, good to know for next time. I'm going to actually, I'm definitely going to mark that on the map so I know. That's probably what I'll end up doing on the next stream. Um, we'll do a magenta one. There we go. Oh, never mind. This is also an Emmy zone. What the heck? Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm stupid. Hold on. That's not an actual Emmy zone. I'm dumb. Okay. This is just the doors stay the same from before. I figured the doors would have changed once you defeat the Emmy, but I guess not. Um, there we go. What's up here? Oh, you know what? This is totally no. I'm not doing this yet. Uh, this is this is totally where the then the next boss is. I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna save that for next stream because unlike Skyward Sword, I'm not gonna like. I'm gonna try not to go over the two hour mark with these streams. Yes, logical. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna try not to go over the two hours if I can avoid it on these streams. Um, just because like. It's, a, it's gonna be such a short game, there's really no need to. Um, so I am cool with it being like... It's gonna be almost exactly two hours, wow. Um, but that is gonna do it! How do I uh, actually exit the game here? There we go. I am sure, but that was a good start. What do we have? Four, yeah, okay, so 4% items total, okay. Yeah, that actually tells you the total item percentage, okay. I got a ways to go then, if that's the case. Um, but, hey, good start already. We took out, what, two Emmys in one stream? That's pretty solid, I'm not gonna lie. Um, let me turn on the stupid lamp so you can actually see everything else. Because it was a little dark, I'm not gonna lie. Not having, not having any of the other lights on. But I don't know, I think it just added to the atmosphere. If, if, um, any of you watching, whether live or in, um, if you want to reply in the comments or anything, or even if you're watching the VOD after, if it's, like, just too, too dark on my end, like, on my camera, let me know. I can always... I can always do something, maybe like turn on the ring light here or something like that, you know, I could always do that. Um, but I don't know, I think for me personally, it adds to the immersion. <laughs> yeah, no, Alejandro, you definitely need to play more. I, I'm pretty sure I'm about to get to the first boss, so if that's where you just ended, I mean, you could also just, honestly, because YouTube's nice in that it just uploads the VOD right away after I'm done streaming, so if you wanted to just watch the VOD after that way too, however you want to do it, I mean, the options are there, so. But if you want to watch live, definitely, I mean, you might want to make a little bit uh, a little bit of progress. Yeah, have a good night as well. Thanks for tuning in again. It's been fun. Um, but anyways, for everybody else as well, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate however you interact with this. And I'm just, I'm so glad to be streaming this new, fresh game. Skyward Sword was great, but it took two and a half months. 
and I mean, part of that was my fault not streaming consistently, but it was just kind of annoying. Um, it just, I mean, I should have figured it was going to take that long, but this will hopefully be a shorter game. I'm going to be pretty much streaming shorter games going forward just because now that I'm only streaming twice a week. Oh, um, also, I mean, I'll, I'll announce this on Twitter. Um, normally I'd stream Thursday night. I'm actually going to be streaming Wednesday night next instead. So Wednesday the 13th, the night of that, uh, same time, 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, just because I'm going to be actually, uh, I have to go to my parents' house. I have to leave right after work on Thursday um, to watch their dog for the weekend. They're going to be away for the weekend, so I'll be there watching the dog. Uh, but I got to leave right after work Thursday, so I'm not going to be able to stream that night. Um, but instead, it'll be Wednesday. So even sooner, more Metroid Dread. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to be streaming this game. This game is actually real? Like how? How is it real? Uh, I can't even believe it is, but it's pretty fun so far. I'm liking it. Um, I'm, I'm sure I've heard it picks up. Like, I mean, it's pretty fun right now, but uh, it's, it still feels not, it doesn't feel like anything too crazy. I mean, the, the Emmys are fun, but like, besides that, it doesn't feel like anything too, too, what's the right word? Amazing, I guess. I don't know. But like, it's fun. I'm sure, but I've heard it picks up, so I'm sure that'll happen at some point. Probably going to encounter the first boss next time. But um, in the meantime, yeah, have a good night. Enjoy the next couple of days of your week. I will see you all Wednesday night if you're interested for more Metroid Dread. Take care in the meantime. Bye.